Rick and Kareen, good evening to you both. This is a man who has impacted countless people here in the L.A. area, so much so that many are coming by his home tonight to pay their respects. People have been telling us how shocked they are about what's happened here and how sad it is to lose someone so special. More than 100 people gathered in prayer next to Bishop David O'Connell's Hacienda Heights home, now the site of both a crime scene and a growing memorial. Larry Dietz says he's trying to wrap his head around the reality that his religious leader was killed, the culprit still unknown. Everybody's lost. Everybody that knew Father, everybody that knew, 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 knew Bishop O'Connell. I mean, it, it's, this is just devastating. Authorities say when they arrived to Bishop O'Connell's home Saturday afternoon, they found him dead from a single gunshot wound to his upper torso. Authorities knew early on the circumstances of his death were suspicious, and today they confirmed they are investigating his death as a homicide. Religious leaders delivered the news during Sunday services. Early this morning, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Office informed us that they have determined that his death was a homicide. The bishop was 69 years old, a native of County Cork, Ireland, and was ordained and has served in the Los Angeles Archdiocese since 1979. He was involved in many outreach organizations, one of which helps new immigrants find housing, enroll in schools, and settle into life in Southern California. His interest in, passion for, and support for immigrant issues was really deep. And I would be speculating, but I'm, I think it might have to do with the fact that he himself was an immigrant to this country. His death and the many unanswered questions about it has left people unsettled and shaken, taking comfort right now in one another and in prayer, something that was obviously very important to Bishop O'Connell. I'm very hurt, very hurt by his passing because he's one of the most lovable, humble persons I've ever met. And police haven't said anything about a possible suspect or a motive. All they've said at this point is there's currently no threat to the community. That's the very latest from Hacienda Heights. I'm Rachel Menetoff. I'll send it back to both of you in the studio. All right, Rachel, thank you so much.